Hey, what's up guys? Jose here at ShreddedDad.com. In today's video, I'm reviewing the Ken Sui Sweezies. These are handles that solve a simple problem. They turn a regular pull-up bar into a neutral grip pull-up bar. That's it. Now, of course, you can also attach these to a barbell for inverted rows, bent over rows, and you can even use them on resistance bands for different exercises. So let me show you what these look like up close. So that's the hook itself. It's a very simple design. It's just a handle with a hook on top made out of hard plastic. On the inside of the hook here, you can see that there's a rubber lining there, and that's going to prevent the, the handles from sliding to, to the side whenever you're using them. And then right here, the handle, it's a knurled handle. It's very passive as far as the knurling goes. And of course, it's not going to feel the same as a barbell because it's made of plastic. Now, the inside of the handle is hollow, as you can see on there, but it feels very solid all around. These have a weight capacity of 800 pounds, so you can throw a lot of weight on the bar or on the pull-up bar, and you're not going to have a problem. So these are extremely simple to use. You simply toss them on the top of the pull-up bar, and now you have the option to do your, your neutral grip pull-ups. Now you can either leave them on there or take them off and store them somewhere where you can hang them. But that's all there's to it. These can be used, like I said earlier, on barbells. You can do inverted rows, you can do bent over rows, or you can attach different resistance bands to them as well. So now I'm going to show you some exercises that I've been able to do with these handles. So now I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of the Swizzies. Number one pro, of course, is the problem that they solve. They give you the ability to add neutral grip to a regular puller bar, to a barbell, to resistance bands. Like me, for example, my bar doesn't have that option. So now with the Swizzies, I'm able to add the neutral grip component in a stable manner so that I can generate a lot of power with my neutral grip pull-ups. Now, another thing I like about them is that you have the option to move these around from side to side so I can change the width of the handles versus if I have a fixed multi-grip pull-up bar, I don't have that option. So this actually lets me choose whatever feels better for my body. Another, op another pro about this is that they're portable. You can toss them in a book bag, you can toss them on anything, and it's not gonna take up a lot of space so you can take them anywhere with you. Now, another good thing about these is that they're not too expensive. Less than 40 bucks, you can get a pair of these, and I'm also gonna leave a coupon code down below that'll save you an extra 10%. So let's talk about the cons now. Now, number one con with these is that it's very uncomfortable to do pushing exercises. Now, keep in mind, these weren't made for pushing. These were made for pulling exercises. So when it comes to the handle itself, you grab it like this, and you have plenty of space in, in here in between your fingers and the end of the hook for pulling exercises. But for pushing exercises, you're gonna have to turn the handle in this direction. So now you see the, the back of the handle hits the back of my hand or the bottom of the, of the hook here hits the back of my hand. So for any pushing exercises with resistance bands, it's a little bit uncomfortable. You can get through them, but I wish they had that option where this was a little longer so you have more space for your hand, the back of your hand and the bottom of the hook. But again, these were made for pulling, not for pushing. This is just something I wish they had available. So let me show you what I mean here. If I hook here the handle to the resistance band for pulling exercises, I don't have any problems because there's plenty of space here in between my hand and the bottom of the hook. But now if I wanted to turn around and do a pushing exercise like this, now you see that the back of the, or the bottom of the hook is hitting the back of my hand and that's just a con that I see as maybe Kensui having more of, a, of an option in the future for an, for an upgrade where they can have more space in between here and then give you the ability to have a more complete handle where you can do pushing and pulling exercises without a problem. A common question that I get is, what's the difference between the Swizzies and the Angles 90? Well, there's a lot of differences. Number one, the Angles 90 has a strap. So this makes it unstable, it gives you instability, but that comes with some pros as well. This gives you the ability to attach this to just about anything, a barbell, a pull-up bar, you can attach it to different pieces of equipment in the gym, and it also gives you the ability to move through a more natural range of motion if you have shoulder pain, elbow pain, wrist pain, because you're able to rotate 
your, your limbs in a more natural range of motion. So that's a plus for this, but they also have instability. With instability, you're gonna be able to generate less power than with something that's more stable. So think about this, when you compare gymnastics rings, like the ones I have right here, and a pull-up bar, regular pull-up bar, which one is harder? The gymnastics rings, and because, because it's very unstable. So you're able to generate less power off the unstable surface versus having stability, now you're able to generate more. So for me personally, I use both, but I like these better whenever I'm trying to lift heavier because I have that stability that's gonna let me generate more power. So that's the main, the main differences between these two. This one, very versatile piece of equipment. This one's more for just a neutral grip type of thing, but you're able to generate more power with the Swizzies than you will be with the Angles 90. That's my review on the Kensui Swizzies. I think they're a good addition to the home gym if you lack that neutral grip component. For me personally, I like to do a lot of neutral grip pull-ups. I like to do them weighted, so this adds more stability to my pull-up so I can generate more power. If you wanna learn more about them, I'll leave a link below this video. That link is shredderdad.com forward slash swizzies. If you wanna check them out and, and buy them, I'll leave a coupon code down there below as well. That coupon code is shredded. That'll give you a 10% discount. If you like the information in this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments and questions down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss the latest uploads. For more home gym equipment reviews and a bunch of discounts, make sure you visit my website, shredaddad.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.